Hey, it's Addie, and today we are finally watching Rocky. Join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytails. Hello, everyone. Recently, I did a movie night, Rocky. Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching Rocky. Welcome back to the channel. It's your resident dazzling urbanite, aka the murder whistle. I know you can't see him, but Copilot is here with me. Today, we're watching Rocky. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Rocky. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you, thank you. Tonight, I am watching Rocky. Has he not gotten in a hit yet? They're throwing food at him. Oh. <laughs> I'm like holding my breath, waiting for something to happen. I need to breathe. <laughs> Ouch. Is that allowed? You can't do that. If you headbutt somebody, you a savage. Yeah, beat him up. Yeah, he deserves it. He won? Give a thumb! You know that? Give a thumb! Oh, mm, that's harsh. Oh, the Italian stallion. Bob Bowie, you get winner share. $65, less $15, locker and corner man, $5 shower and towel, and 7% tax. Comes to $40.55. Man. When do I fight again? They're robbing hey, him. It's a puppy. Hey, puppy! It's a pretty puppy. Oh, it's puppies. Hey, puppies! I said I've been told by. Wow. Hey, your old man did pretty good tonight. Why weren't you there, huh? <laughs> oh, is it a turtle? Hey, go say hi. You know, if you guys could sing or dance, I wouldn't be doing this, you know? I didn't expect him to have little pets like this. And, uh, this turtle food I got here, it's, uh, this turtle food I got here had more flies in it than one more than it took flies. Look like he ain't got no groceries, but he got turtle food. I respect that. <laughs> Is he gonna get a puppy? He seems to really like animals. You know, the last turtle food I got here had more moss in it than flies. You know what I mean? These moths, they get caught in the turtle's throat right about here in his cough, right? I gotta smack them on the back of the shell. And they get what? Huh? Show shot. They get show shot. What do you think? <laughs> You're starting with bad jokes really, huh? Well, no, I didn't. He looks so little interested. Oh! Wait. Die girl in the boxer. Wait, is this gonna be a romance? Hey! 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 Don't hit the face! Shut up! Mr. Ganso says I should get the 200 to break your thumb. You understand? Please! Oh. Huh? Please. You want a ball, you gotta pay the man. Hey! Do we still have to break his thumb? It's 130, yeah. He's still seventy dollars late. So we're gonna break both thumbs. We only had hundred and thirty, but I think he's good for the rest next week, Mr. Gasol. Tomorrow, collect from Del Rio. He's late three weeks, and I don't like it. How do you spell Del Rio? How'd you do last night? I did real good. So he like hustles people for this guy. How come you didn't break this guy's thumb like I told you? Well, how do you know I didn't break? You, you don't you think knew I hit things? So why didn't you break his thumb like I told you to? Cause he's nice. I think if I break the guy's thumb, he gets laid off, right? He can't make money. Yeah, well, don't money. figure it. Let me do the figuring, okay, Rock? Do what I tell you to do because it's bad for my reputation. You understand? But he doesn't want to break people's thumbs. So long, meatbag. Who the fuck is this guy? I should have broke your thumb! Yeah! Oh 
my God. The somber piano music and being left out by the train tracks. It's such a mood. Was the lock changed? What the heck? They couldn't have changed the lock. He got it taken out of the money that he made. Wait a minute. What the hell? I was just going to break it. Does that work? The stuff is this in my lock. It ain't your locker no more. It's been my locker for six years. Where's my gear? Mickey told me to bag it. Hang it. Who's Mickey? Been in that locker for six years and you put my stuff in a bag on Skid Row? What did, what did you do to get on Skid Row? Shut up! What <gasps> the hell? What do you want? My problem is I've been talking to your man Mike. I want to know how come I've been put out of my lock. Because Dipper needed it. You know what you are? What? You're a tomato. Me. Yeah, let's face it. I run a business here, not a goddamn soup kitchen. Oh. Nothing special about you. You never got your nose busted. Well, leave it that way. I said, good in what's left of your mind. I did real good last night. You should have seen it. That guy's not nice. Is that supposed to be his trainer? I did your locker, man. Oh, you don't, you don't have to rub it in his face. We don't need to go there. That's f***ed up. Hey, Rocky, a really nice dude, man. Back to the pet shop. There's a good game down to the Spectrum tonight. Want to go to the basketball game? Oh, the awkward. Ah, ah. Hey, but kiss, hey, kid. <laughs> what a sweetie. Tough day today, you know? They took my locker away. I had that locker for about six years. It don't bother me none. Doesn't matter, who cares? You know? It don't matter, it don't matter, who cares, man? I don't care, no. So if you shy, I'm scared of them. Don't these birds look like candy, you know? Like flying candy? Hey, bro, you wanna fly me home? Oh, like he's, he's like, wants to be this big fighter, but he's like such a, a gentle guy, you know? He loves animals, doesn't wanna break Bob's thumb. Good night, Aiden. Good night, Rocky. <gasps> she said something to him. That was more than one word. That was three words. Or two words in the name. Aww. Does he come by every day to tell you a joke? <laughs> Cute. She does like him. What's with the eyes? Good fight. Should have seen it. Yo, Paulie. Oh. Hey, yo, Paulie. Every day, every night, I pass by you. This is giving me the shoulder. You know what I mean? Forget. You, better than, uh... you could do better than my sister. Damn. So he's telling him he's trying to hook up with his sister. So he's interested in her, of course. He's pushing 30 freaking years old, and if you don't watch out, you're gonna end up dying alone. Why are they talking about 30 like it's old? I might as well just go die tomorrow. Shit. Is that his sister he's talking about? You still work for Gazzo? Yeah, sure. Why don't you talk to him about me? Well, I just don't think Gazzo's hiring right now, you know? Oh, his friend needs a job. You don't want to work for Gazzo. The girl's drying up. My sister, if she don't start living, her body's gonna dry up. <laughs> you know, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, you know that? Mm -hmm. Why don't you come over and talk to her? Also, he won't look at what his sister. You're speaking now of your much publicized bicentennial fight. Oh, uh, the thing he wants to do. Right, this is going to be the greatest sporting event in the country's history. Will you take a Still look at that guy? What we got today a jig clown. I've never heard that combination before. Apollo Creed will duplicate the cracking of the Liberty Bell by cracking Mac Lee Green. Apollo Creed. Hey, that's a hell of a name. Get about sports as a profession. Sports make you grunt and smell. See, be a <laughs> thinker, not a stinker. <laughs> be a thinker, not a stinker. I like Rocky. Rocky got a little code about him. He's a good dude. He's a good dude around a lot of people. Jerry Simpson. Craziest man is champion in the world. He took his best shot and become champ. What shot did you ever take? Well, I'll take a shot. <laughs> that kind of shot. <laughs> hey, your brother know you're hanging out so late? Stop it, me. Hey, don't you know a shot? I love a sheep. I love sheep. Oh, what a rat. I'll make your breath like garbage. Like Come on, nobody likes garbage. <laughs> anyway, this girl with the dirty mouth, she wasn't bad looking, but you see, none of the guys ever took her serious. I gotta use a bad word. Four. <laughs> She's 12. You don't really have to be one, you just act like one, and that's it. 20 years now, people are gonna say, hey, do you remember Marie? She's a little whore to hung down at your time at Bogey Shop. Oh, yeah. <gasps> they don't I mean... remember you, they remember the rest. This is a nice life lesson, but. Hey, he dropping knowledge though. Why don't you think you have a boyfriend? Cause you're hanging out with them coconuts in the corner. You understand? <laughs> you're hanging out with yo-yo people with yo-yo friends. -yo -yo. <laughs> He's looking out for her. I don't keep acting like a whore. I'll turn into one, right? Yeah, something like that. Good night, Rocky. Good night, Marie. Take care. You know. Hey, Rocky. Yo. Screw you, creepo. <laughs> well, so much for that little 
talk with her. <laughs> he walked her home. I'm trying to give her a pep talk. I feel sad for him. I'm asking 15 minutes telling her that she needs to straighten up. Walked her home safely. Just for her to say, screw you and call the creepo. She's 12. Need to stay patient. Hey, man, Rocky is a good dude, though. You know what I'm saying? You can't even hate on Rocky. He's a good man. They don't make them that much of a Says here, Mac Lee Green has suffered a severely cracked third metacarpal in his left hand. Get me Buddy Shaw. Hell, he's ranked fifth. Went to California and gained 50 pounds. That'll do it. Move to California. <laughs> I get hold of every worthwhile contender, and they all say the same thing. Five weeks just isn't enough time to get into mm. shape. Man, you're free. Ooh. I did. I don't know who that one dude is that's sitting across from him, but he gave him a death there. Without a ranked contender, what this fighter's going to need is a novelty. Yeah. This is the land of opportunity, right? Yeah. Well, Apollo Creed on January 1st. Gives a local underdog fighter an opportunity. To beat his ass. <laughs> oh, and that's where Rocky comes into play. A snow white underdog, and I'm going to put his face on this poster with me. Underdog? Rocky. Give a local Philadelphia boy a shot at the greatest title in the world on this country's biggest birthday. Paulo, I like it. Very American. It's very smart. Mm. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to like Carl Weathers in this movie. Okay, I think I see where this is going. Well, I feel like I know what's coming now. How's this girl you're going out with tomorrow night? I'm going out with Paulie's sister. Who's this retarded? She ain't retarded, she's shy, you know? Take her to the zoo. I ain't retards like the zoo. Mm -hmm. Hey, this bum gotta say that. Yeah, that is rude. But he doesn't like you. Yeah. Some guys, they just hate for no reason. Gabby? Yeah. 50 bucks. You and your girl, Adrian, you have a nice time, yeah? Thanks. You and your girl? He doesn't even have a girl yet. What you tell me? Take her to the zoo. What? Come on! You're so rude about that girl. She's shy. He's just surrounded by a bunch of mean people, isn't he? What do you think about Billy Snow? Fouls. Chubbs out here trying to look on his asses. Hey, that Bobby Judge, he's a good boy. No, and I don't feel any heat from that man. Exactly what are you looking for, Apollo? Novelty. This is what I'm looking for. Is it Rocky's name? Italian Stallion. Yeah! Rocky Balboa? Never heard of him. Man, Rocky's whole life is about to change. Look, it's the name, man. Oh, he's going to get the chance of a lifetime here. The media will eat it up. Now, who discovered America? An Italian, right? What would be better than to get it on with one of his descendants? I don't want you messing around with South Pole, man. You do everything bad. South Pole, nothing. I'll drop him in three. Hey, Apollo H! What's a South Pole? Apollo Creed. It's the Italian Stallion. Sounds like a damn monster movie. <laughs> It'll look good on the poster. Maybe swollen hands. Yeah. I don't need a doctor. I need a different job. Hey. Tell him I'm he a good want, man. And... He doesn't want to involve you with this. Hey, Rocky a good dude, but he don't even want Polly in today. Ah, oh no. Hey, will you forget about Gazzo, huh? I don't ask nobody twice. What? He keeps asking that. You been asking since you been in the movies. Your sister, you sure your sister knows I'm coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very excited. Yeah. I feel like she does not know that you were coming. She has no idea, does she? You're late. I don't think she's expecting Go to you. Hospital. Go to the hospital. There's a late. turtle. Maybe we can connect over that. Yo, how are you doing? I told you she's very excited. Hey, look at me. I'm not ready for this. It would make a difference if you were. <laughs> she did not know. Why you tell me we're bringing him here? He's taking you out. No, I can't. Hey! I want you out of here. Oh, poor guy. Is he taking you out or are they staying and having Thanksgiving dinner? He's hanging around like a freaking spider. I'm tired of you being a loser. Don't call me that, Polly. Hey. Polly says some horrible things to his sister. Polly, it's Thanksgiving. I got a turkey in the oven. You want the bird? Go in the alley and eat the bird. Oh, boy. Why would he do that? She was making that turkey. That was really rude. Oh, he a whole asshole. I want you out of here. Get out of the house. You hungry, Rock? Hey, 
if Polly tells the turkey out, it's still eating later. Maybe we just better forget all this, you know? She's in a bad mood. I'm in a bad mood. You know that. Aww. I can't tell if she's too shy to go out with him or she just really doesn't want to. She doesn't like him. Yo, Adrian. It's me, Rocky. Yo, Adrian. My mom always used to say that. Yo, Adrian. I don't know what to say because I ain't never talked to no door before, you know? So, I didn't know Rocky was a romance. Man, what do I say to a door? Hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. It's funny. I know all about these things. Don't listen to this guy for advice. Yo, Adrian, it's, you know, it's Rocky again, you know? Listen, uh... <laughs> Could you do me a favor, you know, I ain't got nobody to spend Thanksgiving with, you know? You know? Hey, he said you know more than I said shut the f*** up. She's ready to go. We're gonna have a good time. She's ready. She's cute. What's your sister like to do? Ice skating. Hey, Adrian, come on, you let the heat up. Well, let's go ice skating. Listen, uh, I don't want no turkey anyway. Huh? What are you saying, Thanksgiving? Go get her some turkey. Yeah, to you, but to me it's Thursday, right? How's this date gonna go? I've been craving some romance, you know? You know? I'm gonna start talking like him. Yo, it looks kinda quiet, you know? I think it's closed. No, I think maybe we're just early or something like that. <laughs> Yo! We're closed! Oh, what? yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, they're closed. Hey, listen, are you closed to the general public or you just closed everybody, you know what I mean? It's Thanksgiving, that's why there's nobody here. And besides, Maybe you're supposed we'll to be the in here. To ourselves. Ten minutes, ten bucks. You have the ice to yourself. Ten bucks. A dollar per minute is like steep even now, I'd say. Give it a blades. <laughs> Let's do it. Aren't you skating? No, I ain't skating since I was 15. You know, that's when I started fighting. When I was 15. Skating's got bad for the ankles, you know. You're a pretty good skater, aren't you? Wow, I haven't ice skated in so long. You know, like I was saying before on the way over here, you know, fight used to be tossing me, but no more. Now, I love ice skating. I don't know how this man is walking on ice like this. It's smooth. Because I tried that, I busted my ass. Look at her skating. It's so cute. See, all I wanted to do out of fight was prove I was no bum that I had the stuff to make a good pro. You never got the chance? He's going to get his chance. Oh, southpaw means you're left-handed. Southpaw throws your timing off. Southpaw means you're left-handed. Oh. Nobody wants to look off with it. That's what Southpaw is. You know where Southpaw came from? Nine huh? minutes. Thank you for the countdown. That's so romantic. His arm, he was left-handed. His arm was facing towards New Jersey, you see? And I mean, South. this relationship could work if he does all the talking and she does all the listening. Watch out, watch out. Um, oh. Ah, I just dislocated my finger. Ah, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. That feel like it hurt. Push the button. Bong. It works. <laughs> Bong. Seven <laughs> minutes. I broke both my hands on his face. Ask her about herself, Mr. Rocky. Woo! You know how I got started in fighting? That's no I ain't gonna lie. Huh? No. Am I talking too loud? You yeah, ain't talking too loud. You talking too much. I was thinking that earlier, like when he was talking to the girl at 12. You weren't born much of a brain, you know, so uh, <laughs> you better start using. He was like screaming at her. My mother, she said, said you weren't born much of a body, so you better develop your brain. Did so she say that? Time! Aww. We had a nice 10 minutes, though. Why do you want to fight? Because I can't sing or dance. Hey, yo. <laughs> Don't stop! Don't stop! His voice is so unique. I can hardly understand him. <laughs> hey, that was terrific. I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> I mean, how can you not like Rocky as a person, man? Right? It's an amazing dude. You know, last fight I had, I had with this guy named Spider Rico. Yeah. He busted my head up there. You see that scar? Things get pretty rough in the ring. You know, some people think that being shy is a disease, you know, but it don't bother me none. Why'd I bother bringing it up, huh? Because I'm dumb, that's why. I think we make a real sharp couple of coconuts. I'm dumb and you're shy. What do you think, huh? <laughs> couple of coconuts. I'm dumb and you're shy. <laughs> Why anybody would want to be a fighter? You gotta be a moron. It's a rock where you're almost guaranteed to end up a bum. I don't think I'm Worst thing about fighting is the morning after. I feel like calling a taxi to take me from the bed into the bathroom, you know what I mean? <sighs> your hair hurts, your eyes hurt, your hands oh, are swollen. Why do people want to do that? Look at his face, 64 fights. Look at that nose. 
That nose ain't never been broken. 64 fights. Is it going to be broken by the end of the movie? Maybe? Why do you do it if it hurts? For money. Hey, you wanna come inside? Dinner? Did they eat? Look at his face. Is that a face you could trust or what? Huh? Reassure her. You just wanna hang out. Hey. Rocky's gonna be the best thing for her, ain't he? Come on. Come on in. I feel like we haven't gotten to know her because. He only talks about himself. And we don't get to know who Adrian is. And I want to know so bad. Yo. Yo, Adrian. That is awesome. Like, in most situations, I would be like, nah, don't go in there. You know, he's going to try to do something to you. I just think Rocky's going to talk some more. <laughs> she, you, she really needs to be, like, pulled out of her shell. Like a turtle. <laughs> Aww. I wouldn't be surprised if she does just walk away. And she's not! She's going inside! Yo, Adrian, you hungry? You need anything? Yeah, I got, uh, if you like, uh, sodas and donuts or something. That's not like food. Cupcakes. <laughs> cupcakes, huh? sodas, no? and donuts? I think I got some chocolate. A dinner? There. She had a turkey in the oven, but we don't have that anymore. Probably wants the turkey that she was making earlier, because it's Thanksgiving. Hot in here, you know? I could go for some music. Maybe I'm wrong. These are the exotic animals I was telling you about. These are my friends, Cuff and Link. He's kind of like a gigantic golden retriever, Rocky. I sold him to you. Remember you were working at that pet shop? First day he was there and I came in and bought both these animals, huh? I bought this bowl of marbles that go on the bottom there. Remember that? Remember that mountain? I had to get rid of that mountain, though, because they kept falling over and flipping, you know what I mean? <laughs> these, these your parents? Yeah, that's, that's both of them there. Just you? Yeah, that's me when I was yeah. eight years old. That's the Italian stallion when he was a baby. <laughs> the Italian pony. She's so nervous. I feel sad for her. Do you have a phone? No, I ain't got no phone. I had to pull, you know, because people calling all the time. And who needs the aggravation, right? <laughs> Interruptions. Am I right? I want to let my brother know where I am. I think he might be worried. Well, I'll call your brother if that's the problem. Yo, Paulie, your sister's with me. I'll call you later. See ya! Matt, you don't like the room, do you? Well, it's only temporary, you know. No, he's getting closer! What's the problem? You don't like me? You don't like the turtles? What's the problem? I don't think I belong here. I know you well enough. I've never been in a man's apartment alone. Take her out to dinner at a restaurant. Take a walk around the block. Well, I... They're all the same, you know. <laughs> I don't belong here. No, oh, it's okay, because you're my guest. You know? I'm not going to lie to you. This movie is not anything I expected it to be. I thought I was just going to be fighting the whole time. I don't feel comfortable. Oh. Comfortable, easy. Why are you getting so close? You should go. Don't <gasps> go, please. Don't, don't go. Don't go. Do me a favor. What? Take off these list. But she won't be able to see. I wonder if she's ever kissed the boy. I always knew you was free. Don't tease me. Not teasing. Aww. He's not teasing you. That does really transform her whole look though, doesn't it? I wanna kiss you. She's into it. I was uncomfy there for a while. That was actually really tender. All right, girl, get it. <laughs> oh, Adrian. Oh, I'm telling Polly. Yeah, that's not so bad. <laughs> Had to move to the floor for this. They've been waiting for this. She liked him too all this time and she was too shy. I like how he likes her. Even though she's shy and everyone talks crap on her, but he likes her because she works at the pet shop and she's nice. Oh, hey, Mick was looking for you up there, man. For me? Yeah. You sure? Did, did Apollo contact Mick about Rocky? Rock walked in like a new man. Hey, you got something for me? There was some guy here from Miles Jurgens looking for you. They need sparring partners for Apollo Creed. Put me on. Oh. They'll probably look for sparring partners for Creed, you know? That's what I he said, just said that said. before you, dumb Jago! 
You know, I've been coming in for six years, and six years you've been sticking it to me. I want to know how come. You want to know? I want to know how! Oh, we're having this climactic fight right now. Because you had the talent to become a good fighter. And instead of that, you became a leg breaker. So I'm cheap, second-rate loan shark. Oh. To living? It's a waste of life! Ooh, and everyone was listening in on this. That man must care about him, though. Because you don't get mad. You don't get that mad at somebody you don't give a f about. My man shut the gym down just now. Damn. Finally, someone said it. Maybe he's, like, going to take things serious. He said he's got the talent to become a fighter, but he became that lone shark guy. May I help you? You must be Mr. Rocky Balboa. Mr. Jordan's yeah. expecting you. Mr. Balboa. Oh, I like the way that that was filmed. That was cool. George Jenkins, take a chair, please. Tell me, Rocky, you got any representation? You have a manager? No, it's just me. Rocky, I've got a proposition I'd like to make. Did I know you're looking for sparring partners, and I just want to say I'm very available, you know? I wouldn't take no cheap shots either. I'd really be a good sparring partner, you know? You don't understand me, Rocky. My proposition's this. Would you be interested in fighting Apollo Creed for the World Heavyweight Championship? Say what? <laughs> <laughs> what if he's better than Apollo? <gasps> no. The f is that? No? No. I'm really a ham and egg. This guy, he's the best. It wouldn't be such a good fight. But th thank you very much, you know. I'm going to be fighting. You're going to pay me. Do you believe that America is the land of opportunity? Apollo Creed does. He's going to prove it to the whole world by giving an unknown a shot at the title. He picked you, Rocky. <laughs> It's the chance of a lifetime. I'm really excited for Rocky to do this. I mean, I imagine at this point he doesn't have a good chance of winning, but it's a good opportunity. You can't say no. You can't pass it by. Oh, he's so nervous. Apollo, how do you like the city of brotherly love? Well, just being a fan in Philadelphia makes me feel patriotic. Look at his cute beautiful. sweater. Oh, they're sitting on a couch together. People in a beautiful city. It is a coincidence that you're fighting a white man on the most celebrated day in the country's history. Is it a coincidence that he's fighting a black man on the most celebrated day in the country's history? Oh, oh, they're like a couple now. My main man. Oh, he was on the interview. Brother, that's an right, Apollo. Yeah. Tell me, how do you feel about your challenges? So she doesn't wear her glasses anymore. Where did you get the name Italian Stallion? Uh, I invented that uh, about eight years ago when I was eating dinner. <laughs> Now your payday will be one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Any comment? Ooh. No comment. All right. Yo, Adrian, me Rocky. <laughs> that was the sweetest thing. Yo, Adrian. Thank you, Rocky. His girlfriend. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aww, they're cute. Well, no matter he's making you out a fool. Don't bother me, none. I guess you'd be looking for people to help you out. Keep you living a clean life. I'll do okay, you know. Oh, Polly trying to get some of that money, huh? Oh my god, Polly is relentless. Einstein flunked out of school twice. Beethoven was deaf. Helen Keller was blind. I think Rocky's got a good chance. I don't like him very much. You want me to get you a beer, Polly? Hey, you looking to do a good deed? Keep out of my freaking life! Uh, Polly's just a head case. <laughs> Adrian's really opened up to him. This is sweet. She's talking more. Did I say something? You didn't say nothing. That's right, you didn't say nothing! They went on one date. That's his girlfriend now. And she defended him. What is wrong with this man? Hey, they didn't have any beer! Oh, he's insufferable. How'd you like hearing your name on TV tonight? I was shocked. What time should I expect you? Oh, about seven. Hey, that is not the same person who started this movie. Adrian wasn't saying You know, I said that stuff on TV didn't bother me not. Yeah? It did. I feel like that was big for him. Yeah. Oh, he's only opening up to her about it, though. Oh, he's got somebody he can be honest with about his feelings. That's nice. 